Come on, there's gonna be a way to get inside. So there's just a guardian in the roof. Hey, buddy. What? The salmon. Oh. First story, right? Oh, neat. There's a little Goron rolling around in uh, Lookout Landing now. Yeah, that's cool. So you got the Zora, you got the Rito, I think, as well, somewhere, and the Goron as well. Uh -huh. So remember that fragment I had, the one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments among those things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Okay. Da, just look. Wow. Oh. Mr. Rez upon this amazing mural. This scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. What really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed to the next one in the series. Until it ends with that last fi statue fitching, facing a final destination, a building that looks like a temple. Hmm. Also, see those large ears on the figure at the front of the building? That's going to be one of the Zonai. And then there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. Uh -huh. I collect my thoughts on all this. I'm pretty sure if you follow the gaze of each of the statues of that down there, you'll reach that structure. Also building that a temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that the Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all this is still speculation on my part. So, <laughs> that's where you come in, Swordsman. I want you to find that temple structure depicted in the mural. Initially, I figured I could just go myself, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. Aww. But they pulled the kid card on me. I said I couldn't go into the depths. So, here. Uh -huh. I can have these two. Nice. Pipe blooms and arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. There's the end of bonus that checking out the depths might pr provide us with clues to help find a Princess Zelda. So if that all that works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious, mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. I think we good things, right? Thanks for your help with the swordsman. <laughs> I've already done it. I already did it. <laughs> what? You mean to tell me you already found the temple? And what was in there? Auto build. With the ability to instantly replicate things you've built and schema stones? Oh. So there really was a Zonai temple housing a mysterious power down in the depths. Hmm? That may also mean that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Wait here just a sec. Um. Not, nope, not that. Nope, not that either. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. <laughs> here, so it's me. Ah, oh, schema stone, nice. Hot air balloon. Uh -huh. This is a schema stone for a balloon, right? So if you use this with auto build, you can replicate a balloon, right? I'm thinking. Yeah. That balloon over there belongs to Goggles, but it's broken right now. Do you think you might be able to fix it with auto build? You're so exciting. I want to see an action pronto. I'll go prepare real quick. Okay. <laughs> I forgot I already did it. Rebuilt the balloon in an instant. This, this mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. G goggles. Hey. Goggles! Oh. What are you yelling about, Joshua? Uh, oh. Inconceivable. My balloon, it's fixed. Huh. This must be the mysterious power of the zone I had. I never thought I would see a mar such a marvel with my very own eyes. Oh. Thank you for making this a reality. Please take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. I still haven't been able, be able, been able to figure out what, the, what that is. But judging from that light, it's going to be Zonai in origin. Since you can use Zonai powers, I think it would be better for you to have it. Yeah. There was an incredible power lying hidden, hidden in the depths, after all. I think I'll keep researching the depths going forward. Who knows, I might, just might find a clue about Princess Zelda. If you make any new discoveries in the depths, please let me know to sort some. Um, yes? Did you need something, Swordsman? 
No way. Kogo, the leader of the Eco Phantoms there? Oh, this is dangerous. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. I'm gonna regain my computer. Okay, come this way. Okay. See if he's Kogo in the depths. Hmm, what's the leader of the Eco Clan up to down there? Well, I might have put him there in the first place. Uh, no big deal, but from what I know, the Eco Clan has a super dangerous group that schemes around against the Kingdom of Hyrule. And Kuga has it, had it out for you and Princess Elder for a long time, but believe me, I know. You do anything to put an end to your lives. Yes, I know. Despite everything we looked into already, we just can't take our eyes off this threat. Uh -huh. Besides, Kuga couldn't know what's happened to the princess. That would make a lot of sense. Would it? I'm in the gas, but if you do go after him, keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research at the depths from right here. Uh -huh. By the way, do you know about the Forest of Time south of Hyrule Field? There's a chasm there, and I've gotten the reports of another series of statues found at the bottom of it. These statues are different from the one you showed me using the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere too, and they do come near where you got the, your unavailability. But they don't stop where the statues leave farther southwest into the depths. Um. Where they go is anyone's guess, but I bet there's a destination far beyond that building worth seeing. Oh. But keep gathering info about what's in the depths, so be sure to stop by and check with me sometimes. Good to know. Ah, and what are you, sir? Hmm? Husband, are you okay over there? You looked like you were someone else just now. Oh, I bet you're interested in that strange statue, huh? We discovered it in the depths. Hmm. It looks both naturally formed as though it's been carved into. You don't know much about it, as you can probably tell. There's still so much to learn. <laughs> so once I'm done with my current investigation, I plan to start digging into it more. Hello. You who stand before me. I am one who returns Pose to the afterlife where they belong. Offer Pose to me. They are spirits that ought to return the, to the afterlife. Pose? Pose are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wandered the depths of this land. Good, evil, that's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no distinction in such distinction in wandering spirits. You've already obtained Poe's. Here's a Poe. Oh, this is... Yes, yeah, so this is indeed a Poe. I've returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return Poe's to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. Dark clump. If you offer me more Poe's, I will give you suitable compensation. The Dark Tunic. Wow. My brethren, whose spirits reside in the statues far larger than mine, are in the depths of this land. If you can enter my brethren and try offering pose to them, where are they? If you offer me ten pose, I will tell you the location of one of my brethren. Tell me. I acknowledge your offering. I will tell you the location of one of my brethren in the depths of the land. Notice the location indicated on the map. Seek out wandering spirits for the, my brethren in the depths of this land. Interesting. All right. Ah! Really, appreciate, really appreciate you fixing a Bible and Ultra things. That auto build thing is pretty darn amazing. I should have a good thing about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, hey listen up. Now that Justice has solved the mystery of that slate, oh. we'll return to the Pad Laboratory and hunt in the village. If you go there, I can make even more improvements to your Pad, starting with the sensor. Oh. You find the lab in East Nikoloda, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side, it's hunt in the village. Ah! Go a bit farther than that, and you'll see a many peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting edge lab. All right, I'm going over there to head over there. I'll be waiting for you to arrive. See you in Hatton Village. Don't keep me waiting. Good to know. And he's gone. All right. But yeah, we get to get. I think the plus. I don't know whether or not the um, other DLC stuff is also in this game. I hope it is because that would be really annoying if it's not. Particularly the hero's mode because I kind of know, want to know where I've been going. And also, I could probably rip the audio from this video and just put it on top of the other one. I'll ask you to talk to the Kuku guy as well. <laughs> That's, that sounded more negative than I actually meant to have it, but... Wait a second, that actually might make a lot of sense that we don't 
since they are spirits and not dragons technically, it kind of makes sense that Link would be the only one to see them. And that other people wouldn't actually acknowledge them at all. I don't know, that's a, really weird and interesting. You are very close. Hey, you see the dragon there? Oi. Yes, what do you see? See an old man about walking in this, assuming he's got nothing for free time. I might not seem busy to you, but taking care of the cuckoos that Tamina left in my care is a big part of my day. Hey. I don't help her out a bit now that her husband's gonna do his part over at Look at the Landing. Every day I take the cuckoos up and I walk up the hill to the laboratory. Oh, no. Welcome. Ah. Oh, what a pleasant evening. Hey. Hey, you. The heart battle laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see that heart battle. Let's only take a moment. Oh. One and a two and a three and a four. The sensor reacts when you're close to the sensor light that you have not even visited. If you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should find the strain. Done so. Now the sensor will make a sound if there are strains near you. All right. Okay, let's, now that I've installed that sensor for you, how about you walk around the lab to test how it reacts? Oh, I still don't know what he wants from me. Hey, where are you going? I'm trying my best, man. Oh, you want me to walk? Okay. What's this? The sensor that I installed in your parent pad is reacting to something right here and now. It reacts when you're moving toward a shrine. The sensor must be detecting a shrine down the slope in front of the lab. Is there really one that close by? Ah. It must be because my creations are perfect, unless they get broken in some way. Now why don't you go down, check, go check this down the slope in the direction that the sensor was indicating. That's so cool. So I believe it must be somewhere around here, because it's in the caves of Hykora. Wait, there's no way that it was here the whole fucking time. Hang on. It took me 20 minutes before to find out where it was, where it's in the forest cave. God damn it. <sighs> also, hard to travel too, nice. Myasic Shrine. Well, let's just do this one now. I don't care about amiibos. Where is blessing, so we'll get this blessing for nice. Scepter. Um. Yeah, okay, cool. Fine. Whatever. I don't remember what the magical MacGuffin was that allowed you to use the powers of the champions in Breath of the Wild, but... I think this makes more sense diegetically, that you have, since the secret stones amplify the abilities of the users, that you have the avatars and stuff like that that will help you fight. Like, that legitimately makes sense. There is a reason for that. Which I think is just neat as well. Oh, I have visited the tech lab before. Right. 
Did you find the shrine? There's none of the sensors beyond perfection. Just listen to his sounds and you'll find your way to the nearby shrine. What? You found it? I'd expect nothing less from you. Anyway, how about that sensor? Handy, huh? I expect no nothing less from me. Well, I've told you what I you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and out the other. So hang on a minute. Hey, now. Oh. Well, the details look correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. There you go, the operation instructions for the sensor. Do you really need operations instructions for that? Now you can review the sensor feature anytime you want. Just read that poster there. <laughs> now you begin to see the true potential of the pro pad. But I know we're near done yet. I created new features from that device while I was here waiting for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features, and you can get them on per your pro pad at any time. That is, with some help from you, getting the final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's talk if you want those upgrades. Enjoy that sensor. I taste of great things to come. Until then. Let's make a true yeah. great. Hey, you have, we have more work to do. Your pro pad is nowhere near its full capacity yet. Oh. Capability. The pro pad will be an even better after we add some extra features. These include the most essential one. The travel medallion feature lets you travel any set up gates where instant travel anywhere. Wow. There's also a hero's path mode. Yes. It shows where you travel. Finally, Sensor Plus, where it helps you find more than shrines. Your pro pad will be perfect once you have installed all of the, those. But first, I'll need you to gather some test data so I can find you in my prototype. Ah. Let's get to work on that pad. Travel's medallion. It's quite exceptional. It lets you in travel instantly to get used to if it's not elsewhere. God, that was words. But we're going to have a little bit of extra challenge with all this. Come now, give me your prayer pad for a moment. Oh. Look here, in a distant Akala in this northeastern corner is the Akala Ajin Tech Club, which is also my home. That's where my prototype of the travel medallion feature is. I started working on it back there. I had to go get it myself, but word is that some dangerous trespassers have made some, themselves at home there. That's why I'd like to have you with all your great talents to go there and fetch me my travel medallion prototype. To speed this journey along well, the return journey anyway. Where was that again? Aha, here it is, here it is. Ah, there we go. I've activated a travel gate outside this lab. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. You'll need to make your way out to the Akalai Inchi Tech Lab, however. I find the travel medallion prototype in the chest beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. Want to hear anything else about my investigation? Inventions before you rush in. Here's Bathmoon. This Bathmoon is an outstanding addition if you do a lot of investigating. The truth is, there's a tracking feature installed in the promo pad. Here's Path Mode lets you see this feature on screen. It's a brilliant system that lets you see the exact path you've taken. But before I can install the prototype perfectly, I'll need to get data from 15 short locations for me. I should have it. I should have even in the safe. What? You've got the data? Hurry up and let me see that promo pad. Oh. Just give me, give me just a moment. Here's Pathman. You can now use the map to see the path you've taken your journey footstep by footstep. You can save around 256 hours of gameplay. If you succeed this man of play data, the oldest footsteps will be erased as new ones are added. Now you'll be able to see the path you've traveled so far on your map. Nice. Good stuff. Oh yes, I should prepare your operation instructions for this feature too. Hang on a minute. If the details are correct, I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. There you go, the operation instructions for Hero's Path Mode. Now you can review the Hero's Path Mode of Future anytime you want, just read that post oh. there. Now you can also use Hero's Path, path Mode now. Your pro pad is not yet perfect, it still doesn't have all the available features, so don't forget that. <laughs> Center Plus. Oh. I'm very different from being curious about this feature. If it lets you the pink with the location of things more than shrines, many more things, that's why it's called Sensor Plus. Oh. You select what you want for the company, but I can't add many, my prototype with some extra data. So you need to fill out your company with at least five types of monsters. Yeah, okay. That's it for me. Yeah, I don't know. Apparent so yeah, apparently uh, nature is classified as a monster, which is interesting. So that's one. I need to get four more? Yeah. So Spirit of Ice has taken the form of this giant dragon, making its home in the Linnaeus region. It's said to have served the spring of wisdom since ancient times. The ice that coats its body can make the surrounding area freezing cold, but nature bearless no ill will towards people if you have seen it in the current age. Interesting. I guess it would be the Sheikah that would probably see 
through as well. Can I take a picture all the way from here? Oh, I can. Neat. Anyways, there's... yeah. There's a couple things I need to do. I should probably go to Akala and actually get that whole thing done as well. In case you've probably noticed by now, things are not quite in order, and that's my own damn fault. Because I am chaotic. And life is chaotic, too. Life comes at you fast. <laughs> Uh, so, but since it's night time, I can be stealthy about this. Uh, did that capture? It did not. There we go. Ideal picture. Oh, there's only two of them. Interesting. Okay. I could grab a picture of a Lionel. Could. I don't want to, but I could. I also haven't done anything with that, too. Hello? Oh, hi. Perfect. So that's four, I believe. One, two, three. Nature's the fourth. So I need one more. And the tribal medallion is kind of weird. Like, I got it all in one fell swoop the first time. I don't think I'll get it this, this time. Because you can have three points. And again, I don't remember the specific qualification as to how, but, or what, specifically. Why would you be saving? That's alarming. That's very alarming. Oh, hi. There's someone. Hi. Nope. <laughs> Did I just barely get it? Nope. All right, that's five. <laughs> what a stupid picture. Yeah, so the Akala Lab quest looks quite a bit different. Quite different, as you can probably tell. Just getting ready. And there's just a bunch of bananas, too. What is it? Wait, you. It's Link. Get ready for battle. Yes, of course. These guys. That's unfortunate. Okay. What? They seriously dodging? Hello? 
plate, full plate. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll make your little uniforms without any more complaints, I swear. Oh, hold up. Hey, you're in, hey, superstars. You're not with a good plan, are you? Please tell me you're here to rescue me. Well, that's fantastic. Oh, I've been cooped up in here forever. The name's Kanba. I've got a knack for style and the nimble digits I need to spin my ideas into reality. I'll ask that pure talent is why the Yuku clan can at me and force me to make their outfits for them. <clears throat> if I ever sew one of those tacky racks again, it'll be too soon. In fact, you should just take the eager armor I just finished. Burn it, toss it, do whatever you want. Just get it away from me. Ah, yeah, interesting. <laughs> the look like me lack, but my tailoring is sublime. If you wore the host out, you'd fit right in with the Yuku clan. On that note, I gotta hurry out of here before they get back. Don't worry, I'm more athletic than I look. They only caught me last time because I messed up. It won't happen again. <coughs> See you around and thanks for the save. You're welcome. Oh, my computer's dying because I still have Premiere open. That's my bad. More importantly, the travel medallion printed. They make this pretty typical version, but it's unusable in its current state because it's missing some important data. Right. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. I didn't realize that it, the map actually does point out where the hideouts are. There's one in the old man's house in um, the Great Plateau, and obviously it's pointing. There's the other one pointing to the main hideout in Fruita Desert. But that's neither here nor there. It's gonna be weird putting this together, but that's just life. All right. Hey, we, we have, have more work to do. Your prayer pad isn't. Yep. <laughs> travel medallion. Of course, you want the travel medallion feature. You wouldn't want to. Who wouldn't want to travel instantly to wherever you went? I'll need my travel medallion prototype, which is at the Acolyte Agent Tech Lab. Sorry, but hmm? huh? wait. Do I detect the unmistakable odor of my old hope on you? All right. <laughs> what? Then you already have it. Good job, that will do the trick. Come on, let, hurry up, let's you see your pro pad. Now just give me a moment. Nice. This mysterious tool is built by Robbie. Place it by opening your inventory and registering your current location as a travel gate. Da -da -da -da. Put that to your key items, so you'll never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate using that. And any time, you can just sit right there by selecting that first spot and come out. Easy, right? I wonder what I could do if I haven't need more data over. I suspect I could add two more gates. Yes, then I hit maximum capacity, so I can create a link between the pad and the second location, but for that I need about ten applications. <laughs> which should be a walk in the park for someone like you. Okay, you I should prep for operation instructions for this future too. Hang on a minute. Oh. Have I not gotten ten already? Oh. The operation yeah, 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 yeah. Just for the first of there. <laughs> Wait, oh. what? Yep, I'm updated already, and for 15 areas? In that case, I'll have the ability to travel to a second and third spot with the travel medallion feature. I knew you could do it. Great work. Come on, let me see that for a pad. Oh, so 15. All right. I don't remember how I... Yeah. They don't waste your time with this, and I appreciate that. I fully agree the travel medallion feature. It's certainly a great honor to work to your first extensive travels. They were smart enough to put the stuff in the game. I mean, really, like, come on. They, people would be so pissed if they didn't. They can use the travel medallion feature now. But your pad is not your perfect. It still has, it doesn't have all the available features, so don't forget that. <laughs> Which feature do you want to add? Sensor Plus. Oh. Unbelievable. You go get all that data? And I can install that sensor upgraded right away. Let me have the pad for a moment. Oh. Alright, give me just a moment. A sensor plus. You can select something other than trends of light as a sensor plate. Da -da 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 -da. The sensor has a stronger reaction as you get closer to the target. Now you can search for more than just trends. Just select what you want to find from the Hyrule Compendium. Neat. It's a lot less annoying than it was in Breath of the Wild. Oh. Actually, I have a compendium of my own. 
Oh yeah, that's that thing. That's my Compendium database. It's got everything you could possibly want to find details about. But yes, it's all there. Creatures, monsters, materials, equipment, and even different kinds of treasure. I'm sure a perfect collection of what you might one day achieve in your own Hyrule Compendium on the Pro Pen. Curiously invited. Wait, I never actually did that. I guess I should prepare operation instructions for this feature too. Hang on a minute. I never actually did that. <laughs> also, completed. At last your prayer pen is perfect, and that means you are perfect. Ah, oh, thank you. That is the objective truth, I'm very pleased to say. Because with all that, you'll make infinitely better progress in your search for Princess Zelda. And when you find Princess Zelda, you should tell her you can have dinner without it like prayer pen improvements. I'll be sure to do that. I never actually found out what the deal was with this. My collection is complete. Oh, wow. It has everything. Wow. Wait. Oh, there's a spoiler here. There's a spoiler here for sure. There's a spoiler here. <laughs> there's a totally a spoiler here. You're still interested. Yeah. Can I borrow a picture? Oh, you don't get to choose. Oh, I don't have enough money regardless. Wait, that's impossible. How? <laughs> I hope it's not random. I really hope it's not. But that's just the entire game over here. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, so it's monsters. Enemy. Buy one. Do I get to choose which one it is? I don't. <laughs> Fascinating. Alright, so it's just a random toss of. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I guess that spoiler won't happen after all. So I currently have... One, two... Three, four, five, six. And there are... 93 through... 202. This controller is going to make me lose my mind. Hey. Ah. Oh. 77. So mine, there's no way then. There's no possible way that it would include those, I don't think. But hey, I'm going to try. Wait a second. Oh, because that means that the bosses and the dragons are not part of that. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, that is smart that they would do that just to avoid spoilers and stuff like that. I was really hoping I could cheese, cheese my way through that, but apparently not.